Hello, my name is Billy Trimbo with Cisco Tech. In this video session, we're going to step you through how to gather logs from the real-time monitoring tool. The real-time monitoring tool, which is also called RTMT, is the GUI interface designed to pull traces from a variety of Cisco platforms. If you don't have RTMT, it can be downloaded from the application menu on the call manager under the plugins menu. I should also mention that any time you have upgraded Call Manager, you should probably download another version of RTMT because the version follows the Call Manager version. So here it is here for Windows. So we can download that and then install it. And once you do that, you can enter the IP address of the Call Manager or you can use the fully qualified domain name. And here we're prompted for the credentials, which are going to be the same credentials as the Call Manager Administration page. So I'm going to enter the credentials here, which are the Call Manager Administration page credentials. And you might see a warning about the time zone mismatch. And all this means is that the PC time and the RTMT server time are not in sync, so you can just click No to continue. Well, now, once that RTMT is up, you'll see many options here, but we're going to focus on collecting logs from the option Trace and Log Central. Let's click on that, and then double-click on Collect Files. Now, if you chose to log into Call Manager, you should see the first screen here, which are logs that are only part of the Call Manager nodes. You can select as many logs as you want to collect from any or all servers. When you're done choosing them, or if you don't need any, just click Next. The next screen is the UCM Services and Application screen. Logs from here will include all nodes in the cluster, both Call Manager and I'm in presence. This section will include logs that are common, like Event Viewer, Tomcat and upgrade logs. Again, select whatever is needed and then click Next. And now we're at the page that pertains only to IAM and Presence for services like Presence Engine and XCP Router. After checking what is needed here, which I'll just select a couple here, click Next once more. The last page is where we will set up the time frame and download location. You can set a specific range in the from and to region, or you can simply choose the relative range, which will allow you to grab the most recent files that were generated. This can be for minutes, hours, days, weeks, or even months. If you've just reproduced the issue, you can typically choose minutes and grab 10 to 20 minutes worth. It just depends on how quickly the logs roll over. If you have a lot of users, log collection itself may take more than 10 to 20 minutes, so it may be better to put in the specific time frame where the issue was reproduced. Next, choose whatever download location you prefer, and whether you want to zip files on the server before collecting, or just download them as they are. You can also choose to delete the logs that were just collected from the server but that can be dangerous, so be careful. Well, once we've made all of the choices, click the Finish button, and you'll see the log collection status in real time. As long as this process is going, you'll notice the Cancel button here is highlighted, so you can stop the process. If you find that the Cancel button is grayed out, it probably means the collection is done. Now that the cancel button is grayed out, we know RTMT is done with collecting logs. You can scroll through the list to see a summary of the collection, and it will also tell you what folder the logs were downloaded to, which is based on the server name and the date. And that's a basic overview of how to use the real-time monitoring tool to collect the logs from the servers. Thanks for watching.